Hello everybody, this is Ball Boy Hunter. I'm gonna do another standard popper match. Um, this one, another brew of mine. Um, it is Greg Six Mill. Um, like Mill, um, it is soul crushing. It makes babies cry. Um, and it is one of the few totally turn off your brain and let the deck win itself decks that I have ever played or played against. Um, so I thought I would make it a little more uh, fun to play by adding red. Um, I think red is a color that does red things. Um, and really there's not a lot of red in here. Lightning strikes, uh, the goblin electromancers, are the kind of the two big things, um, and running those over like the free cure or something along those lines, just because I think um, easier to cast. The two life gain is kind of not all that important. Um, gives you crossword words in the side electricity or electric electricaries um, words or things. Um, sideboard a little shore up against um, more control matchups. Razor to Whips for a situation where I need a consistent source of damage. Um, and then Cryptic Curtains to blow out a uh, game. Um, because gaining 40 life off of one spell or something to that effect is just really hard to come back on um, from in Standard Popper. Um, so let's see if we can get another game. One more game tonight would be super, and then I will send the videos along. Okay, hey, Remedio. Okay, so this is a keep. No black mana, but red and blue, with some red and blue to do stuff with. Um, a four or five casting costs. Um, Dax's bounty? Seems good. Okay. Would like to draw draw into a black mana. He's been playing like a red build using the one double strike creature in the format and um, like man cap skills um, quite a bit. Um, but I don't know if that's this build. I've also seen him play around with is it um, a little bit. Um, is it? I like is it. I mean, Grixis is fairly is it -y. Um, I just don't think there's quite enough meat on is it's bones right now. Um, I didn't see a ton in Nyx to make me think otherwise. Um, I think the possibility of, I don't know, M15, just kind of that big question mark of whether or not Wizards is going to, what's going to be pushed and what direction they're going to do it. Um, so, we shall see. As the philosopher once said, we are all probably boned. If he plays a Cyclops, he is going to hit Fleshly Devoured. If he plays a Spectacle, oh, I should really... Uh, tempted to be greedy uh, because I'm a greedy boy, but I should probably just de and flush it now and then drop my next. Oh, it's bigger. And then we're going to put you on the bottom, put you on the top, and 
get in there for one. Mugging. Mugging is not all that great against Omen Speakers. I guess that's not true because the camp block is still a thing, a totally irrelevant thing. Especially if you're swinging in with a huge old Cyclops. I think next turn I'm going to drop the Electromancer. Um, barring something. Oh, actually, next turn I'm, I'm going to draw my Psychic Strike and leave that up. And I am going to swing in for one. Mugging is a sorcery. Because it's really great. I mean, mugging the one creature on board into a 4 4 Cyclops, no block. I mean, what more can you ask for? Lightning Bolt, Counterspell. But being realistic, So, hey, one eye Jack, what's up? What's up, good sir? Do I want to get rid of that? I want to attempt to get rid of that with a strike, and then I can just burn it next turn. Oh, nope, nope, get it. Get it, got it, good. Hey, last spot. I think that was in one build of this before I decided it wasn't safe to run a card like that. Devour and Flush. I think with that I can actually go ahead and play my Electromancer out and then swing in. Probably play, and it's just Pilfer Plans just seems so much stronger in a deck with blue and black than Divination. And I love Inspiration as a card um, to death, um, but I don't think it needs to continuously be reprinted at this point. Um, it was really good back in, I believe, Mirage Block the first time it was printed. Um, just off of here, like, hey, there's not much else to do. Let's inspire at the end of turn. But I kind of misplayed that. I should have done that in response. I wasn't even thinking. Oh, Malted Beverage. Again, their recommendations are always welcome. Or if you want to know tasty beverages, feel free to ask. I like a nice beer before and after breakfast. Goodbye, One Eye Jack. You have realized that this game is going to go forever and be not fun to watch. You are wise beyond your eyes, Mr. Jack. What's he got? I mean, I haven't really milled a ton, but I have gotten good stuff. That of valueless last thoughts. I don't know how to take that. I don't know if he's just drawn this, like, boofed, or if he's, like... Desperately trying to dig to another lightning strike to get past my omen speakers. <clears throat> but at least slow my clock down. This is the wickedest clock ever. Um, yeah, so this is his two headed Cerberus. Um, he plays an Aqueous Farm on it, he plays a Mad Cap Skills, and he does 10 points of damage in a turn. Um, and then the next turn, he does the additional 10, and then you cry a little. 
um, you take a shower and then you're fine. Um, so, alright, let's risk. Hey. I forgot I left Essence Scatter in this. I just looked at the deck too, so. Oh, deck building. What a pleasant surprise you always are. Four of them. Not my favorite card, um, honestly. Oh. So I had him, I guess I just had him out controlled there. Uh, what do I bring in? Um, I like Prosper and Word enough to cut a couple essence cutters. I probably do. Um, how about one essence scatter and one Thassa's bounty? Um, and then, because he's on the aggro plan, let's go ahead and bring in both of those and cut. One, maybe, maybe the other two essence scatters. Yeah, I think that's that's fine. Oh, um. I think it's just too pretty to mulligan. I mean, I need one more land, but I've got I've got um, Omen Speaker to set up. Oh, no, Lightning Strike <coughs> to take care of an early game. Anything but Cyclops, really. Strike number two. I'd rather that have been a land. Okay, lands. No, both to the bottom. First build of this deck, I was actually playing 22 lands, and that was woefully inadequate. Um, so I bumped it up to 24. Um, those are some hard cuts to make, but you do what you have to do. Oh, my lord. I don't know exactly why he's not forcing anything into play. Oh, okay, good. Guildgate. That really does open up a world of possibilities on this next turn. Let's see if he can with or withhold from doing anything too exciting. Forecasting costs. Nothing in his yard. I mean. I'm just not sure what he's doing. Wow. Really shouldn't feed control all these turns without plays. Like he allowed me to draw out of my bad land situation. And I don't know if he's like trying to get into a counter war with me or what. One, okay, no. I, I will kill you with the Nomen Speaker over the next 17 turns. I don't want to, but I will. That is a tasty beverage. And he's pitching a last thoughts. Surprise he left those in, actually. So I'm gonna do 
I really would rather stick the frost burn. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go blue, red, and I'm going to play the Electromancer because it's more likely to draw a counter or not. Wow. Eight cards in hand. He has got... Got to have something. Okay, here's the Cyclops. This is going to get dispelled. Just, just wait. Just wait. Second strike. Or not. Wow, and I got two Cyclopses and an Omen Speaker. He is not in a tenable position at this point. This is the problem, I think, with this standard popper right now, is there's just enough control and just enough creature kill to keep it really hard from getting to a critical mass of creatures, um, and that's what you really need to do to win the game in this format. So, no, I guess I don't even need to type tap to Lightning Bolt. Ooh. That's right, went and bolt. Um, second strike. Indicate. Second strike. Again, I don't necessarily think this is the strongest of the Demiri builds, or the mill deck builds. Um, I think splashing three against a lot of or to three colors in, in a lot of different decks is actually um, a detriment um, overall. Um, but um, it is a lot more fun to play. Um, probably the same like searing level of pain to play. It. Against, um, like a hemorrhoid to play against, but you still, um, it's just, it's got more to it. So, go up to 41. Quite surprised that was not scoop phase. Crest of Frostburn Weird. I don't know if he's trying to like play me out like, okay, eventually he'll run out of cards. I have my Archaeomancer, that's a bounty. Oh, just the dead last thought again. Okay. Big up to our Medio for hanging out in this because a weaker man, i.e. myself, I would have scoot faced like a while back. Okay, yeah. He sees kind of the writing on the thing that you put painter carpets on. Yeah, okay. Well, that was it for tonight. I'm going to render these bad boys up and then go to bed. So uh, thank you for watching. Comments are welcome and appreciated. And I like them. So, okay. Good night.